Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Maria Antoinette. And I've partnered up with Moisture Color by Avalon to do a color transformation on my model, Brittany. Brittany is a straight natural, just for this week. She went straight and we're gonna make her straight afterwards again so you can really see how well this color lifts and develops and all that good stuff. So let's get right into the tutorial. Here is a snapshot of what you'll need to create this look. I do wanna give a disclaimer that Moisture Color is a professional only product. I'm starting with the Moisture Color 3N. This comes in two ounces. The really cool thing about the Moisture Color brand is that they have formulated their colors to have fiber strengthening complex, which means it prevents breakage and creates maximum shine. Next, I'm going to be matching that two ounces of color with the two ounces of tin developer. You'll notice their developer is super creamy and thick, like a conditioner. This is a great thing for the moisture levels in our hair. It provides superior gloss and great shine. So I'm just gonna mix those two together and then I'm gonna sit it aside and go on to the next color. All right, for my pink bowl, I am going to be using the moisture color in 6CG and I'm going to be matching that with the 30 developer. In my yellow bowl, I'm going to take Moisture Color 10G and I'm going to mix that with the 30 developer. All three of these formulas are using all two ounces of color as well as two ounces of developer. Make sure you check out the description box below this video for all formulas. All right, let's get into sectioning. As you can see, I'm taking Brittany's crown section and I'm going to just pull that up and pin it out the way. I'm gonna do something special with this section, so make sure you guys are paying attention. Next, I'm gonna part out sections on both sides and secure those out the way. Now I'm gonna just work this same technique throughout the back of her hair, starting with the number three in at the roots and then using the six CG at the ends of her hair. So here, let me give you a close up so you can see how I'm breaking it down. I'm using the three in at her roots. Now this isn't gonna change the color of her roots, okay? I'm doing this so that her hair will have the same amount of shine from roots to in. And then as you can see, I'm doing a bleed in technique from that three in to the six CG. I'm gonna fold my foils over, close it up, and go on to the next rectangle. Now at the top, when I get close to her crown, I'm going to start doing the same technique, but I'm gonna mix the three in at the base as I did before, using the side of my brush to really give it a very hand painted gradual effect and then I'm going to come back with the 10 G at the end and I'm going to go back and forth with this color by layers not by sections but by layers next I'm going to move over to those side sections and you'll see that I'm doing a slicing motion which means I'm going at an angle taking it higher in the front and dropping it lower towards the nape of her head I'm going to do the same technique I used on the back in the side but I'm going to be alternating the color formulas as I go up, always using the three in on the root and then alternating back and forth from the six CG and the 10 G. The one thing that I'm noticing as I'm using the color is a little goes a long way and it's super creamy, you guys. It really penetrated right into her hair with ease. I was really impressed with that. Now I'm going to go into the top section that we sectioned off and I'm going to split that in half. I'm also going to be parting her hair at an angle, but I'm going to be doing a weaving technique at this point in her head. I really want to make sure that these highlights look as natural and as just graceful as possible. I really want it to look like it's just melting and blending in and that the color is done softly so when her hair grows out, there won't be a line of demarcation. So just like we did on the sides, alternating the 6CG and the 10G, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna do it with the weaving technique on the two top sections of her head. All right, so let me show you guys that one more time. I'm gonna section off my hair in a diagonal from like the middle of her head towards her ear. And I'm going to do chunky weaving, okay? I'm gonna pin one section of the weave up and out the way. And then we'll start painting from the root using the three in like we've done throughout her whole head. And we'll go back and forth between the 10, which is what I just used there, the 10 G. And then when I pulled the other section down, I'm gonna paint the three in on the roots and then I'm going to come back with the six CG and I'm just gonna keep working that back and forth, alternating those colors until we're finished with her full head. Avalon mixes things up a bit by having us condition the hair first prior to shampooing. This is going to lock the color in the longest. All right guys, so I'm about to give her her total transformation here, but I wanted to come back and show you guys her curls are absolutely beautiful. They're still intact. Her hair is super curly, healthy, moisturized. I, I'm very, very happy with the way this color came out. 
All right, I can't wait to hear. Down below, make sure you comment if you love this transformation, if you thought that this was a color line you would like to have tried on your hair, and if you're a stylist and you really would like to try out this product. Also, make sure you guys are following Avalon at Avalon on Instagram and Twitter, and also following them at Avalon USA on Facebook. With this being a new product that they just launched, I'm sure they're gonna be doing some giveaways. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.